Hey there guys, what's up? It's your buddy Mike appearing here and I hope you have a great day because for today we are now at episode 11 of our iCraft season 5 and now we're here in the Mesobion because we're trying to gather some of this red sand in order to make some red sand stone and we're also going to gather some plain terracottas later on because for today's episode we are going to continue building in our gardens of Periona particularly on the ceiling part well we already have started working on that during the last episode we already have extended the pillars and as well as build those ginormous trusses that will look our room, our very large room, the uh, the gardens of Periona, to look more stable and firm. That's why we have those trusses, right? And it costs, it looks uh, pretty impressive, right? I mean, I totally love what we have done during the last episode. It really adds to the steampunkish vibe in those parts, especially on the ceiling part. And of course, we have to be uh, somehow, you know, uh, to have to retain that particular vibe in today's activity that we're going to do of course we're going to cover up those parts i mean uh, between those pillars and as well as between those uh trusses that's what we're planning to do for today's episode of course we are going to have more intricate details in those sections of our build well why are we also we using uh this red sandstone because we are going to turn this later on on uh using some red sandstone wall because for me somehow this looks pretty metallic somehow it looks like a copper uh, that's why we're trying to use these materials well we only have like the iron blocks and as well as the gold blocks which looks uh, pretty metallic in our minecraft you know uh, selection of blocks <laughs> but they don't look like steampunky so that's why i'm trying to search for alternatives so i chose this uh, red sandstone wall because somehow it has like you know the classical vibe or the classical color of copper that's why we're trying to use this uh, for today's build and we are going to incorporate this in the walls and as well as in the ceiling and of course we are also going to combine this with some cyan terracottas and as well as some brown terracottas and of course well i also got my inspiration on some um Victorian and as well as some Gothic and Renaissance art, Renaissance architectural styles. Uh, probably we are going to apply that uh, in our designs for today's build. Of course, I'm totally excited to continuously working on this project. I'm totally excited to finish this, but I'm not sure if we're going to finish this for this episode. But if not, if we're not able to going to finish it for today's episode, we're going to of course extend it to another episode, right? But anyway, so of course that's uh, for later to find out. But anyways, I'm just going to continue gathering these resources and I'll be back. Well, we already actually moved on the other side of this mess of volume because we already ran out of these red sands on the other side where the nether portal is. But basically, I think we still don't have enough, but our shovel uh, is already wording out. But I already have gathered this area right over here. As you can see, there are no <laughs> red sand in those parts, uh, also on that part right over there. But I think uh, for the meantime, we still need to mend our shovel because I don't want to lose this. Because because, uh, well, uh, we have limited durability for the shovel, right? But I think for the meantime, well, <laughs> I think this is already enough. Well, I hope so, right? <laughs> and this traveling merchant again, though, I mean, he's very persistent on following us. And I hope he will not leave. Well, I actually don't care if he left his lava right over here because this is not our base, right? And, well, I just also remembered that we got some extra tools in our end chest so well that's why i think we can use this later if we going to need some and as well as for this shovel i should have remembered this that we got some extra shovel in our ender chest but anyways maybe probably we can also use that later but for the meantime i'm just going to continue gathering this plain terracottas and so far here's the damage in this place well it's not that much yet well but i already have gathered a shulker of this plain terracottas so basically <laughs> that travel Merchant, but anyway, so we got here a shulker of these, even more, <laughs> even more plain terracotta, more than a shulker of this. So, probably, I think this is enough for today's build, including our red sand 
stone but i think we still need to gather some more red sandstone later on but i think well i'm not sure i haven't explored this place but so far here's what we have here and i also have gathered some of these orange ter uh, terracotta <laughs> because i think uh, we can use that for some alternatives for our red sandstone because i'm starting to think that red sandstone is that expensive <laughs> at least we got some space for this one so well so the next thing that i need to do is to gather some glowstones because i just remembered that uh, we are already running out of glowstones and probably we are going to need that for our ceiling of course we need some more of those uh, <laughs> lighting right but anyway so well i'm going to do this in a form of a montage but anyways let's start this So far, here's how much glowstone uh, we have gathered, <laughs> and as well as these uh, nether ores. So I think we got enough for our needs for today's build. But anyway, so now it's time to go back to our base, and I'll be back. And so now we're actually back in our base. So I'm just trying to organize these stuff before we try to <laughs> resume our building episode uh, for the ceiling of the gardens of Periona. so now well uh, last couple of stuff these scaffolding let's put it here and as well as this blaze rod one blaze rod and there's a lag though <laughs> but anyway so like i said for this episode we are going to continue building here in the ceiling part of our base of operations well i'm totally totally excited i wanted to finish this project as soon as possible but i'm not sure if we can uh, do that for this episode but we'll see that about later so well before that i also want to put some railings at least some you know some railing guards on this part and as well as i also need to add some more pillars in that section right over there because we need some symmetry in terms of like the shape of our trusses or the pillars uh, on the surrounding areas that we have here so those are the first stuff that we need to do before we proceed uh resuming our uh, activities or uh, the things that we need to build in the ceiling part but anyways so well i'm just gonna mend our tools and i'll be back so already i've done some quick build for these railings right over here well i've done this by block not by fences because i still wanted to have this accessible so at least whenever we want to jump in these areas but not down there though <laughs> yeah i also forgot to mention about these uh strip mining area so let's go down there so basically uh well i've done this off cam because it's nothing much to showcase right over here because this is just going to be our strip mining area but somehow this looks pretty cool right i mean i like what we have done here well although it's not mobs uh mob roof uh, area but of course uh, at least we got this proper you know lighting <laughs> well this is just a strip mining area right so it's not much of a showcase well somehow 
well, it still looks impressive for me. Well, I did enjoy doing this off cam. <laughs> but anyways, of course, I'm gonna do some strip mining soon, but not for now because we still have right amount of, uh, you know, <laughs> those stuff, those redstones, those uh, irons, and as well as some stones, of course, well, but later on, we're gonna need them. So for the meantime, uh, we are also going to work right over here, just the pillar, so at least we can already have started working on the ceiling. But of course, uh, we're still not gonna deck decorate this uh, area right over here we're going to i'm planning to have something like a water stream in this area something like a steamy water stream with some of those wheels and gears but of course we just need the pillars in order for us to connect the ceiling on the top part for these pillars we are going to have four size of this design so basically we're using these uh strong stone brick wall uh, just like what we have there but on this part we are going to have four sides so probably of course you are also going to need more lava for this one because we got spaces on the sides so basically this part are visible unlike on those edges uh, those uh, plain areas are actually going to be covered with, with some sort of like uh, platform just kind of similar to what we have done in the cyber period city well, of course well <laughs> uh this is not yet the final look of this uh basically in the future of course you are also going to work on the platform and basically some of those parts of those walls or those pillars will gonna be covered and well this is more impressive than that i thought of right i mean this looks like a gothic architectural style especially this arc right over here which looks pretty gothic right i mean i'm totally impressed of uh, how this turned out and i really like this but of course we're still not gonna work on the this entrance right over here probably on the next episode we are going to work there and this dolphin though well i really hate that but anyway so the next thing that we have to do is to place some reverse stair blocks on all of the sides of these walls but anyways of course this is not much of a work but well we have to do this <laughs> and so now we have done placing this reverse block so now it's time to work on these ex uh, wall extensions so basically we are going to have oops and there's a lag though <laughs> so we are going to come up with three designs so we got uh one design for this corner right over here that will connect these two pillars and as well as this flat area right over here flat wall and also these diagonal wall right over here so basically we need to come up with three patterns that will basically copy all throughout and all of the size of these walls so well let me try to first work, work on this flat part <laughs> on this section right over here because i think this one is the easiest and we're almost done with this flat section uh this flat design for this wall right over here so basically this is already the ceiling part on this level right over here so we are already going to cover this part so let's check it out let's try to go down there let's grab this ender pearl <laughs> well at least we can avoid some damages right but i think it's fine even if uh, we fall i mean well this looks pretty nice i think so <laughs> well it's not yet that impressive because we have to duplicate this uh, all throughout uh, those part right over there i think it's not that necessary though well i guess i'm fine with this i'm fine with this design right over here well, we just basically need to have a uh, different, well, actually a similar pattern on this one, on this arc. Well, I think I'm not yet satisfied with that part over there, though. I think we should add some more reversed, um, hmm. <laughs> reverse stairs right over here to make it more look like arkish. <laughs> Something like that. I don't, know, I don't know the term, though. But basically, after this, we also need to have the similar design with for those corners and as well as on the diagonal section. But anyways, well, let me try to do this and as well as those other patterns and I'll be back. <laughs> and basically, I already have made three patterns of these walls uh, wall extensions basically uh, of course this section we got a narrower part that's why uh, it looks like this but it still complements on what we have in the bottom section and on that corner section right over there it's uh, pretty wide because it actually covers uh, this is weird though 
<laughs> but anyway, so let's check this out. This corner part right over here actually covers, well, uh, two windows on the bottom section. That's so that's why this is uh, a little wider compared to what we have in the other section. So basically, I think I'm already satisfied with this pattern. So basically, we just need to copy these patterns in all of the sides of this space. So basically, we just need to extend all of the walls using this pattern all throughout. And I'm gonna do this in the form of a montage again. And well, let's start doing this. Yes. Swear it's been 700 degrees in here since you came in. I could swear that this room has been running out of air and now it's starting to spin. You make me feel kind of bad, kind of good, kind of everything, yet it doesn't feel like it should. You make me feel kind of wrong. Well, unfortunately, unfortunately, I ran out of this. I mean, we're running low of this red sad stone. So probably we still need to go back to the mesobiome to gather some more of those red sand. But anyways, of course, I'm just gonna continue that with some montage and I'll be back. I could swear that I'm fading. I think I'm losing my sight. I swear I'm hitting the floor. Swear that my stomach just sunk a meter I'll be dead if I take any more You make me feel kind of bad, kind of good Kind of everything, yet it doesn't feel like it should You make me feel kind of wrong, kind of right Kind of anything and I would change it if I could, could, could. <laughs> So we're done with these wall extensions, but not yet, not yet, because we still have one area to do. Well, so far, <laughs> I didn't expect that this episode is going to be that long, though. But so far, at least we have done this wall extension right over here, because this is not actually very easy to do. It's actually very challenging to do these sections right over here. But I think it looks pretty cool. <laughs> so far, I'm satisfied with this, but we still need to extend one more section right over here, which is, well, this section right over here. Here, uh, we just need to add some more stone bricks because I, I am pretty running out of those redstone, uh, red sandstone. So probably I'm just gonna use some redstone bricks on this area. But anyway, so well, last couple of things and I'll be back. Well, stone bricks ain't that bad actually. Well, although it looks pretty plain, but I think it has the vibe though. But of course, like I said, we'll already run out of those uh, red sandstone. So well, most likely we are going back to the mesobiome to gather some more because, well, at least for the last part of this episode, I want to work on the outline of these trusses, which we are also going to use some more of those red sandstone walls because well that's actually my plan <laughs> definitely we are going to need some more but definitely definitely those are the last thing that we can do for this episode for the third time for the third time for this episode we went back here 
<laughs> and there's a cave right over here. But anyway, so I think we're already running out of red sandstone in this mesa biome because this mesa biome is not that big. But soon enough, I think I need to find another one. Uh, hopefully we can find somewhere near, right? But anyway, so after this, we're just gonna finish up those stuff that we plan to do for this episode in. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> and finally, I have thought of using these shulkers to bring these materials near us. I mean, at least near where our, we are building, right? <laughs> but anyway, so the last thing that we have to do for this episode are the outlines for these trusses, for, uh, in between these trusses. So I think it will add at least more accents in the design that we are going to do at least for this ceiling. And also, well... <sighs> I hope I hope this will look pretty nice at least for this episode but like like I said I think uh, well we have another episode uh, for this silly job <laughs> for this build and I also have a news that probably it's not going to be for the next episode because for the next episode we are going to work on a group recording session we are going to have a group project in the farming district so probably on the next episode well it's not gonna be for this project maybe on the next next episode but anyway so well sorry for that guys and well let's just finish this and well i think we're halfway done with this outlining of these trusses <laughs> but basically uh about the recording session the group recording session that we are going to have for the next uh, episode basically that's gonna be a group project of course uh, we are going to do some building sessions with our fellow eye crafters uh basically we have two schedules but we can i can only join <laughs> only one of the schedules which is on saturday so basically well i'm just gonna do half of the job there but i don't know i don't know well come what may because majority of the people are of uh, the eye crafters will gonna join on the Sunday, but I cannot actually make it on the Sunday because I actually have a conflict schedule on that schedule on Sunday. So practically, I'll, I'm just gonna be able to join on Saturday. So probably half of that uh, group recording session, I'll be there. But of course, that's gonna be a uh, good, you know, content for our episode. But of course, that's for us to find out. So basically, like I said, we are going to work on the farming district. So basically, that's our project and it's like a western team so well <laughs> i'm also excited about it and probably we're gonna resume this uh building project this gardens of periona hopefully we can already finish by that episode on the what they call this on the next next episode so pro hopefully hopefully <laughs> i'm actually praying for it that we can already finish this because i want to move on on our next projects and i'm also excited to see this in actual and we already also got some limited amount of these redstone but hopefully hopefully this is enough right i don't want to go back to the mesa biome and well it's a very good thing that we had enough of these <laughs> red sandstone so now i'm just placing this and this size on the sides of these red sandstone and well Practically, we're done with the outline, which is the last thing that we have to do for this episode. But we're not done yet with this ceiling. Of course, we still need to cover this up fully, right? But at least, of course, uh, we had enough of this red sandstone. But probably, I'm still... Go oh, I mean, we're still... <laughs> that poor squid there uh come on but anyway so well i think we still need to gather more of this red sandstone but definitely i still need to look for another mesobiome to get some of those but basically here's what we have accomplished so far which looks pretty awesome right i mean with this outline it really adds to the classical vibe of this place and especially it looks pretty elegant it looks more artistic and especially it really emphasizes the trusses but anyway so i think we have done a lot for this episode i think it's enough for this one episode <laughs> and like i said we are going to work more of this in the next next episode not on the next episode but uh, on the next next episode and probably probably we are also going to start working in this entrance right over here our plan here is to have something like a steamy water stream going down or flowing down here and probably we're going to add some gears on the sides and those stuff those steampunk stuff but of course i'm also is excited to finish this off this project so at least we can already continue with our other projects so basically here's how how it looks like so far and it looks pretty impressive i'm totally happy of what we have accomplished so far especially for the 
this episode. <laughs> uh, somehow, of course, it's quite disappointing that we haven't finished it this yet. Well, but I'm still happy that we have accomplished a lot. But anyway, so well, I think that's it for this episode. So well, thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment. Please leave a like and make sure to subscribe. This has been Mikey Perion and I'll see you guys next time.